In this video, I will show you how to print your project in AutoCAD to a PDF document. My name is Jay and I'm the founder of JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials on YouTube and I focus on AutoCAD for Mac. Let's dive in. I'm using a project that I created in a previous tutorial and if you're interested, I'll leave you the link in the top to watch how I did this one step by step. But anyway, back to printing, let's start with that. So to do the printing in AutoCAD, you can actually do it from the model space uh, and print here. Uh, model space, in case you are not aware, there's what we're working currently at is the model space. And then there is something called the paper space in AutoCAD or the layouts. So the layout, you can access it from here and you can see it. And it's essentially where the printing happens. And like I mentioned, you can do it on the model, but I prefer to do it from the layout and you will see in a second why. By default, every project in AutoCAD has a layout. In this layout, uh, we need to do some uh, tweaks to it or some changes to make it work for our purpose. What you will see when you look at it is you will see a dashboard right here. And then here we will see this window that is showing us what's in the model space. The model space is an infinite workspace. You can zoom out as much as you can or as much as you want and as much as in as you'd like while the layout or the paper space has a specific size. Um, so think of it as a paper size um, or the different paper sizes. Uh, so it's defined, it's not infinite. So we get to decide how big this layout is going to be, okay? Now to set the paper size for a layout, we can do it for multiple places, but the simplest way is to right click on the layout name. And then from here, we're going to choose edit page setup. When we click that, we will get this window. Uh, and there are two settings that I would like to start with. And the first one is where it says printer. I will just switch this one to DWG to PDF. That will allow us to print this out to a PDF. The next thing I will change is actually the paper size. And the paper size, you can click on it here and you will see this extensive list. Now I will be using the inches and feet sizes. So, and specifically I'm trying to use the D size. So this one, D size is 36 by 24 inches, and that's the size I would like to use for my project and for almost all of my project. Uh, you will see there's multiple instances of it here. So there's one here that says arc D, and then there's one that says arc full bleed D. And I'm gonna go with the one that says full bleed because that one doesn't have a border or like a safe area for printing. And I just never had any problems with it, but you're welcome to try one or the other. So I will select this one, and then from here, what I will do is just click OK. Once I clicked OK, you will notice it looks like as if the paper essentially stretch is now bigger, and we can work with it now. Uh, by default, for your reference, the layout usually has a size of 8.5 by 11, or paper size A. So just for your reference, figured it's cool to know. But anyway, we're going to move to the next concept now with the printing. I was talking earlier about the viewport or this window right here that shows us the model space. Uh, and now we're going to start essentially using that. So this one, you can think of it as a window into the model space that shows us what's in there. We can basically modify this element. We can select it and you will see from the properties window, it's called viewport. We can move it so we can do the move command once it's highlighted and then we can stretch its borders. So I will actually do that like this and then to activate it and to make it look at a specific portion of your drawing or your project, what you need to do is to double click with the mouse inside it or with a pointer. So I'm gonna double click and now it's active and you will see I have like the view commands active. And then once you zoom in and out with, within this view, you'll be able to focus on a certain portion of the project. And for our purpose, of course, I'll be working with the floor plan. Now that we have the viewport and we have the paper size set up, we can actually just do a test to print. So what I will do is double click outside the viewport to deactivate it. And then I will go to the printing window. Uh, it's also called plot or print. So you can actually access it by typing either or. And then we will get this one and it's similar to the page setup, but this one actually has the button that says plot. So here, what I will do is essentially just do a preview. So I will click that. And then we should see this. And here we go, we have now this PDF printed out and I can see it. And you can see we have our floor plan. And right now it's coming out as colored. We will address that in a bit. 
Now, as you can see, the floor plan is relatively small to the paper size that we have. So that's why I'm gonna actually stretch the viewport even further and make it kind of fit the paper size. So that way the floor plan is legible on a 36 by 24 inch paper size. So back to AutoCAD now, and I'll hit cancel to get out of this window. And then I will select the viewport and I'll stretch it from the corners like this, potentially make it this big. I will double click inside the viewport again and then just basically focus on this area or I can use the zoom command and then select this portion. And now this floor plan is highlighted. And then if we go to the print window again and do a preview, this should be a much better size essentially. So here we go, we can see this on a much better size. Now, as you can see, looking at this in the colored settings, it's not gonna work for our purpose. So we will go back to AutoCAD and the next setting we're gonna change is actually called the plot style. Plot style allows us to control like the, the color settings essentially of the document when we print it out. So here I will switch it to monochrome to allow us to look at this in black and white. And then I'll click apply to layout and then we will do another preview. And now we can clearly see the floor plan and it's easy to read and legible. The next step I wanna talk about is actually the scale of the drawing. Now you might be looking at the scale over here and thinking this is where I would change the scale to set it for the drawing, but we're not actually gonna do it from here. We will do it while we are inside the viewport and the viewport is active. And I will show you that. What we will do here is cancel and then go back to the viewport. I will double click inside it to activate it. And then once we are inside and the viewport is active, what you can do is go to the bottom right side of the interface. And then from here, you will see a list of scales. And then for the floor plan, I will go with the quarter inch scale because that's the one that I usually go with. And for a property or a project this size, it's gonna fit nicely on my paper. So I will click on that and then you will see AutoCAD will automatically resize it and zoom basically out. And now we are looking at it in a quarter inch scale and you can see it from the bottom. Now it says quarter inch equals one foot. And then what I will do is deactivate the viewport and I will do, I will go to the print again and let's look at this one more time in the preview. And this is looking great so far. The last thing I wanna cover in this video is essentially inserting a title block into our drawing. In case you're not familiar with the title block, it's essentially this element right here where you get to write your project information, such as your name, the project address, the drawing scale, and usually the sheet title and the sheet number, okay? I will leave you a link on the top so you can view how to create uh, your own title block, and I'll also give you the download link to get this one specifically. Now, to insert the title block inside your project, what you will do is essentially use the insert command, I'll uh, type I, and then click enter. And then once you do that, you will get switched right here to the blocks tab. Uh, it's right beside the layers and the, uh, the properties. The next one usually reference manager, and the last one is the blocks. So once you click on that, you will get this window. Now here you might not see similar to what I have because I loaded this previously, but to access and reach this file once you download it, or if you wanna insert your own title block, you can basically click here. And then from here, I will use the file and I'll click open and I will get this block right here. So what I will do is right click on it, click or choose insert in drawing. And then here it's asking me if I want to redefine the block. We're not gonna go over that and we're just gonna say don't redefine. And then we're gonna type zero comma zero to place it exactly in the corner of the layout and hit the return button. And then I will get this window that asks me about the attributes of the title block. I'll not go over this right now. Again, you can watch that in the video I'll provide. For now, I'll click confirm. And here we go, this is placed right now into my drawing. And the final step now would be actually to test the printing. So what I will do is go to the plot or the print, or if you want, you can actually just type preview and that will actually automatically do the printing without going through the window. So I will type that and boom, now we have the title block in, we have the viewport and we have the viewport or our drawing with a specific scale. If this video helped you today, please consider liking and subscribing. And if it didn't help you or something was unclear, please leave me a comment in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you. I really want to do valuable videos and put out there for all of you to make AutoCAD learning easy. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.